so this is the second part of easy peasy lemon squeezy today we're going to talk about something called filters what are filters what are they well they're usually like things that take stuff out of other things a car oil filter takes all the gunk out of the oil maybe you've got like a bit of a coffee addiction what's that it looks like a filter to me cool is that good Coffee. Sizzling hot coffee. Filtered. Filtered. Why am I even talking about filters? Well, actually, it's because there's filters in electronics. Obviously. I mean, there's filters everywhere else. I've got lemon in my eye. Ah. So, filters in audio. Ow. So, usually, filters in audio just lower or cut out completely certain frequencies of the audio path. You might have heard of a term called subtractive synthesis. This is when a synthesizer uses quite a loud, big old oscillator or sound source and then it gets put through a filter or a few filters to subtract sound from it to make it sound like something else. Subtractive synthesis. And there's loads of types. This is a low pass filter, hence the name. It passes through low end and it filters out the high end. Let's see how it sounds. There's an oscillator going into it and it's just coming straight out. So if I adjust the filter on it, it's gonna filter out some of the top end. What does it look like when it's doing that? What, what's, what's going on? Where's Mr. Ozzy the oscillator? It's okay, man. It's all right. Let's just compare the path going in to the path coming out. But how are we going to do that with just one oscillator? That's why we need two. We've got Mrs. Oscillator coming to the party today. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, there's a connection. You guys, I'm just going to head out for a second. I've got to go and grab something. I forgot about it. Just um, keep an eye on this guy, yeah? See you guys in a moment. I'll leave for one second. Right, I've drawn a line down the sand. There'll be no crossing until the end of the video. Right, okay, so we're gonna plug this back up. Let's forget that even happened. That one is before the filter, and this one is after the filter. Woo! So it's basically just filtering off the low end, which in turn is just softening the edges of the waveforms. The actual schematic for this filter is in the description. So we've got this. What if we try and make one? I've just put together something really simple. This right here is a filter. You don't even need power to make one. How crazy is that? Look at that. This is a passive filter, which is called an RC filter. It's called RC because it's got a resistor, which is the potentiometer, and it's got a capacitor, which is the C, so RC filter. I'll put the schematic up right now. Let's see what it sounds like. So it's all plugged up now. We've got the in and the out. Crazy, eh? You can usually find these in the tone knobs of guitars. What if we want to control this with something else? Right here, on the end of this wire, kind of crudely soldered onto it, is something called a light dependent resistor. You can see that there, look, look, it's tiny. And what this does, is it does the same as what the knob does, but when you shine a light at it, I'm gonna get to the end of the wires, and I'm just gonna bridge the uh, potentiometer, like in this picture. So it's affecting it. But what if you wanted to plug this into a low frequency oscillator, which is a slow oscillator to make it go wham, wham, wham. We can do that, and it's quite easy. Right here, on the end of this wire, is an LED. I'm gonna turn on this low frequency oscillator. So we've got a blinking LED. What if I put this blinking LED up to this light dependent resistor? What we're gonna do is we're going to tape it to the actual light dependent resistor. It's all enclosed in there, so there's no other light gonna affect this circuit. If I slow down this LFO. What this is called is a Vactral. You can buy Vactrals and they're already made, but this is crude as hell. A 
And that's it for part two of Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy.